Thank you for joining us for PID's AquaHawk Learning Tutorial. You can register for AquaHawk from any computer or mobile device that has a current browser. Just go to pid.aquahawk.us. You'll need to have a copy of your PID water bill, a valid email address, and be ready to create a password using letters and numbers. For the purpose of the video, I'm going to use Google Chrome browser, but you can use any browser that you like. You'll enter in pid.aquahawk.us in the address bar and click enter. Once you come to the site, you're going to click the green register button. You're going to need a valid email address and password. You'll enter your personal name and your contact information. I suggest entering as much information as possible. The information is kept private and you can change it later. Under contact preferences, you will choose your preferred method of contact. For me, I would like to be contacted by text message in case I have a water leak. So that's the option I'm going to choose. I'm going to click register. I'll get the OK that my registration was successful and then I can sign in. Click the sign in button. Now I've successfully signed in. This is where I'm going to enter my account. I'm going to get this information off the water bill. If you have more than one account, you can register them all and I'll show you how to do that next. Make sure you enter information into every cell and click the add button. Once you've added your water account, you'll be able to view alerts, view your water usage, and change the information you entered earlier. By clicking the drop-down arrow next to your name, you can change any of the contact information under user settings and register more accounts. Before AquaHawk can start sending you alerts, you'll need to set your alert thresholds. By default, there are none set. The alert thresholds can be set using the alert settings button. And within this window, you can tell AquaHawk to notify you when your bill is a certain dollar amount or a certain gallons per month or a projected. So for instance, if it just looks like you're going to reach $100 this month or 10,000 gallons this month, the system can alert you. There's also some quite advanced settings that we can use in here, but we'll go over that in a future video.